So in this video, I wanna show you how I structure my day as an agency owner and as an entrepreneur to get the most amount of work done in the least amount of time. And the key to doing this is just to have a really structured, regimented and routine day where you know exactly what you're focused on hour by hour. So I have two separate businesses. I have an agency called Growth Response and we do done for you LinkedIn and cold email lead generation for businesses in the B2B technology space. And then I have an education company where we help people and new entrepreneurs start and scale online service-based businesses like an agency. And the key to staying focused and the key to, to moving forward every single day and getting work done every day is having something that I call a GSD day structure a get shit done day structure. And what this is, it's basically an hour by hour breakdown of what I'm doing at each point in my day, every single day throughout the week. So I've been getting this question a lot, like how do you structure your day? How do you get work done? If I have a, if I have a nine to five, how do I focus on um, blocking out time to work on my business? And I want to answer that question and give you my structure, my schedule on a every single day basis, every weekday, so that you can model after it and, and see exactly how you might be able to structure your day. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna jump in from the time that I wake up. Uh, I wake up at 6.30 a.m. I'm not one of those people that can wake up at 4 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. I've tried that, I just, I can't do it. It's just, it's too, it's too hard for me to go to bed earlier than, than 10.30 or so, which I have to do if I wanna wake up at 4 a.m. So 6.30 a.m. works perfectly. I actually don't even need an alarm clock. I just wake up naturally. And at 6.30 to 6.45, I wake up, wash up, you know, brush my teeth, take a piss, all that normal basic stuff. And by 6.45, I am making coffee and taking some supplements. So I have some general health supplements that I take. I have some nootropics that I take. Uh, I think there's about six different things that I take in the morning, but I take, I make my coffee, pour myself a cup, take six, the, all the supplements that I'm taking, and I'm ready to go at 7 a.m., ready to start my day. So at 7 a.m., the first thing that I'm doing is an income producing activity. So I have two separate lists, and I try to do this every single day. I actually, this is something new that I've rolled out, right? Uh, writing an email to my list every single day, Monday through Sunday. And I have two separate lists. I have my agency list and I have my, my education company list. Uh, the, the education company, I, I send out an email every single day to that. My agency list, I try to do it at least three to five times per week. But the reason I love this so much is because it's income producing. Meaning every time I send out an email, I'm either gonna generate some sales for my digital products or whatever it is, or I'm gonna generate phone calls for my agency, which is gonna to lead to sales, high ticket agency sales for our services. So if I did nothing else, if I just every morning at 7 a.m. I wrote an email to my list, to my agency list and my education, com education company list, uh, I would be happy. I could stop my day right here because I generate sales and I generate people who are interested in my agency services. Uh, but that would be boring, right? I don't wanna stop my day there because there's, there's things I need to do. So at seven to 7.30, I write an email to ideally both of my lists and I schedule it to go out at 8 a.m. Now, at 7.30 a.m., I start what's called my first deep work block. And I learned this concept in a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. So if you haven't picked that up yet or read that, I highly recommend you head to Amazon, pick up that book and read it. Uh, the short version is a deep work block is uninterrupted, super focused, super deep work. Your phone's off, you have your door is locked, you, you have no one there to disturb you, and you're only focusing on like a very high cognitive level task that you have to focus on for this for this deep work block. So I do it in two hour increments. I like to have my deep work blocks be two hours each and I like to try to do two of them a day. That's worked out very well for me. Sometimes I don't need that second block, but I like to schedule it in anyway. But during this deep work block, you, so I wanna make this clear. Your deep work block is not gonna be the same as mine. I'm focused on things like sales copy, email automation, funnel architecture, YouTube videos, YouTube content. SOPs, which is standard operating procedures, right? This is like if, if I have a new process or a task that goes into my agency or my one of my businesses, I don't want to be the one doing it. So what I do is I spend one of these deep work blocks writing out the exact step-by-step -step guide to do it and then delegate it to someone on my team. That way I don't have to be the one doing all these $5 an hour tasks, right? So 
what I'm doing, if you're, a, if you're a new agency owner, I've been an entrepreneur for close to five years now and an agency owner for about two and a half years. And what you focus on as a new agency owner or a new entrepreneur is not gonna be the same as what I'm doing, okay? So I know Russell Brunson and, and ClickFunnels, they always tell you like, you know, be a funnel hacker and all this stuff. I believe, I strongly believe, if you are just starting your business, especially in the service space, space you're, you have a service based business like an agency, the only thing you should be focused on is getting clients, right? Getting clients and generating appointments, generating leads and getting new clients for your agency or your business. So things that you might focus on are things like Facebook outreach, cold emails, LinkedIn outreach, IG DMs, loom drops or video drops, right? This is, the, this is what I focused on in the beginning. When I first started my agency, all I was doing during these deep work blocks is all kinds of prospecting and outreach because that's what's closest to the money. That's what's gonna get you new clients and new deals and new sales coming in, okay? So don't spend, your deep work block should not be like setting up your website and like changing the colors and the fonts and everything and setting up like a 10 step sales funnel. That's, you are not gonna be focused on that stuff, okay? You're gonna drive yourself mad if you spend every day doing that and you have no money coming in. You're just gonna be wasting a lot of time and money, okay? So deep work block number one. Now I wanna show you real quick an example of what I work on in my deep work blocks, like things around sales copy, email automation, that kind of stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling out a new service, an email marketing service, a done for you daily email service for our agency to add on to our LinkedIn and cold email lead generation services. So what I'm doing is, and I'll, I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a second. I, I created a new book. This is a 57 page book that I worked on for two days last week. Uh, and it's called Email Rainmaker Secrets. How to turn your email list into a perpetual sales generating machine without spending a penny more on advertising. So it's about 57 pages here, tips, tricks, insights on how to turn your existing email list into more sales for you. Double your sales with email basically. Okay, so it's a 57 page book telling you about some of the campaigns we run, telling you, telling you about how we uh, create the actual copy in the email and strategies and tactics that we use for that. And the reason that we created this book is to get us new clients for that new email marketing service that we're rolling out for our agency. So I spent all day, or not all day, but I spent this first deep work block here writing out this entire sales page. It's a long form sales page to sell the email Rainmaker Secrets book. So this is a sales page to sell the book for $5.60. And I spent the entire day writing all this stuff out, okay? So why am I writing a book for an agency? Why am I selling a digital product to sell agency services? Well, let me show you. So I actually rolled out a book funnel for our education company and I sold the book. I'm still selling the book. It's called Six Figure Drop Servicing on how to start and scale a drop servicing agency. And I launched this book to this book funnel to paid traffic on February 14th, as you can see right here. And today's April 6th, and we've generated $13,224 so far on this book funnel. That includes like the upsells and the downsells and all that stuff. So the reason I'm using this same exact architect, or not architect, the same exact funnel setup, the book funnel for my agency is I thought if we can get this profitable, and we only spent $2,000 or so on YouTube ads for this book funnel, which is a pretty, that's, that's a pretty good return on a, a 7X return or so. Uh, if we, th we thought if we can get, if we can pay $2,000 in YouTube ads and generate $13,224 in sales on a low ticket digital product, which is for our education company, how would this work if we rolled it out for a high ticket agency service, right? How would it work if we had a funnel that's, so that's sold both mid to high ticket digital products and higher ticket premium agency services, right? So I spent, like I said, you're not gonna be working on this stuff if you're a brand new agency owner, but I spent the entire week last week strategizing and figuring out how to roll this new service, this email marketing service out to a new audience, not just our existing clients. And I thought, why not duplicate the book funnel that's worked for our education company for our agency? So I spent two days writing that new book. Spent, it took me two days to write this book, this 57 page book that I'm gonna sell for $5.60. <clears throat> and then I spent two hours writing out this sales page here, which is to sell the $5.60 book. And I'm gonna spend the next week or so creating the upsell pages, the upsell products, 
I wanna spend another couple days drafting out our higher premium agency service that like, how are we gonna sell that and position that? It's gonna probably be, probably be around $5,000 to $6,000 a month. But that's what I've been working on for the agency, right? I'm rolling out this book funnel because I believe if it's already worked for the education company to get lower ticket sales, how is this gonna work? I'm very curious how it's gonna work in terms of ROI for getting agency clients who are paying five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for agency services. So that's what we're working on right now is rolling out this funnel for our new service. Uh, but again, do not be worried about creating, creating a book and creating a multi-step funnel if you are brand new to the agency world or brand new to starting your business. You should be focused on stuff like this, okay? Outreach and prospecting. I just wanted to show you an example of what I was working on today. So deep work block number one, two hours. After that two hours, there's a timer by the way. I don't like to go over the two hours. As soon as that timer hits, I stop my work. I put everything down, I get up and I go for a walk, a 30 minute walk. So I live near the water in Seattle, near the lake, and I take a walk uh, on the side. There's a sidewalk right near the lake, so I take a walk on that every single day. Just to help me clear my mind, refocus, uh, blow off some steam. You know, I want to listen to a podcast, or if I want to just refocus my thoughts on something, or if I'm just frustrated, uh, that 30-minute walk helps me to de-stress and refocus everything before starting my second deep work session. So from 10 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., I do my second deep work block. And this could either be continuing what I didn't finish earlier. So if I didn't finish the sales page, which I actually did finish it in two hours, which is impressive uh, for, for me, I usually don't finish it that fast. Uh, but if I wasn't finished with this, I would probably spend the next deep work block finishing it up, or I might work on something else like an upsell page or an email automation sequence or some email copy, right? So deep work block number two is just to kind of clean up what's still left over from deep work block number one or other things that I need to focus on finishing up. So. Deep work block number one and two, you want these things ideally to be focused on, on, on tasks that are gonna generate you revenue and generate you sales and income. That's why I have these things like outreach here, right? If you're a brand new agency owner, that's all that matters. So in these deep work blocks, please do not focus on things, if, especially if you're brand new, that are not gonna make you money. Focus on things that will make you money instantly, okay? And setting up your website, no, that's not gonna make you money right away, right? So focus on, creating your offer, creating like a good outreach message and actually doing the outreach doing these deep work blocks. So after I do my second block from 10 to 12 p.m., at 12 p.m., I, for about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, I usually do a workout. Usually I go to the gym, but as you know, we're all quarantined, we're stuck inside, so I'll just do it in the house somewhere and I'll just work out for 45 minutes, home workout. And at 12.45, <clears throat> I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat any breakfast. It helps, to kill, it helps to keep my energy levels really high throughout the day when I don't eat breakfast. I've been doing this for about three and a half years now, and it's also helped me to lose a lot of weight. So I don't eat any, my, my first meal is at 1245. I don't eat anything before then, and I just take around 45 minutes to eat lunch, chill out a little bit, uh, and I usually eat something light. So lean meats like chicken, I'll eat some egg whites, some, some I like zucchini and vegetables, so I might eat that as well, and a, and a protein shake sometimes. So nothing crazy, just really simple, easy to do lunches or my first meal is usually really easy, something that's already made in the fridge. And after that lunch period, that 45 minute lunch period, from 1.30 to 4.30, I am taking one-on-one -on -one coaching or sales calls. I am checking in with my team, checking some emails, social media messages, things like that. Things that don't require a huge amount of brain power. So I only take calls, by the way, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and that just works for me. I don't take any calls on Tuesday and Thursday. That just helps me to focus during those days and really go, really focus only on like the deep work blocks, okay? So I don't like to take any calls unless it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and some days I just won't have any calls. So let's just see, today I had a few, a bunch of calls. I actually have two more coming up here. So I don't know if you can see this, but let's, let's, give, it, let's give it a try. Um, I don't know why it's not focusing. Oh well, well I tried it. Anyway, I had one, two, three, four, five, six different calls today. The first call was for our accelerator program, our education company, and then I had two calls for our LinkedIn services and three calls for our new done for you email marketing service. So these, today was all sales calls. I didn't have any coaching calls today. It was all for either our accelerator program or for our agency services. And I don't always take these calls myself. I have a part-time sales guy who will take some of these calls. Uh, but since we are rolling out a new service, the done for you email service, I do wanna talk to our potential, our existing clients who are signing up for this. We're only 
we're only pitching it to our existing clients so far who are already on our LinkedIn service. Uh, but I wanna get their feedback and get their thoughts and their concerns around this new service that we're rolling out, which is what we're creating the book for. Um, so that's what I do every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm either taking sales calls or coaching calls from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. only on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I'll take one-on-one -on -one coaching or sales calls. I'll check in with my team, check in on emails, social media, uh, all that kind of stuff within this three hour period. Sometimes I won't have any calls and I won't have much to check in with their team. So this could be as much as three, three and a half hours or so, or it could be as little as like 20 minutes, right? Just checking my emails and my social media messages. At 4.30 to 5 p.m., uh, I like to read. So I spend maybe 30 minutes to an hour reading every day. I have a Kindle Oasis where I like to highlight uh, different parts and different books that give me like aha moments. Uh, and I also love just physical books. I usually order like two or three books a week combined between Kindle and, and my physical books. What am I reading right now? So I just signed up for this guy, um, Ben Settle. He has a, a, pro, a monthly print newsletter. Is it like an actual newsletter he sends you? $97 a month and he sends you this little email player's book. It's, it's basically how to become a better, better email marketer and be, better email copywriter. And I signed up for that, he sent this book. So that's what I'm reading right now. It's about 100 and, 130 or so pages. And um, I am also reading this. This was kind of expensive. The 16 word sales letter. I just read the first couple pages so far. I just got this in today, but it's around a proven method of writing multi-million dollar copy faster than you ever thought possible. It's from a company that I have done a lot of research on, Agora, or a, a copywriter who works there who's generated nine figures in the last three years at that company. So really excited to dive into this one here. This is $37 or so on, on, on Amazon. So every day I spend around 30, to an, uh, 30 minutes to an hour reading. That just helps to give me ideas. And I don't always read about just marketing stuff and business stuff. I try to read things that are not related because it helps to refresh my brain and not just focus only on sales and marketing all the time. Uh, but I do like, I do geek out in marketing, marketing and sales books a lot. So 4.30 to 5 p.m., sometimes 5.30, I'll read on my Kindle or a physical book. At 5 p.m., I'm just relaxing, okay? I'm just a normal guy, honestly. I watch TV, I like playing video games. I, I play PS4, I chill with my fiance, Jackie. We'll just watch some Netflix, Netflix and chill. We'll watch some Hulu, some HBO. I watch TV all the time. And then I'll eat some, I'll eat dinner on 7 p.m., okay? So 5 to 10 p.m., I'm not working like, you know, 12, 16, 20 hours a day. I like to relax, right? I need to relax. Otherwise, the next day, I just, I don't get much done. If I'm like overloading myself every single day, and you might have to do that in the beginning, okay? It's, it might be inevitable for you in the beginning because I did that in the beginning. But at this point, I don't need to be working super, super long hours every single day. So sometimes my work day ends at like 1, 1 1.30 right after I eat lunch. Sometimes it'll go longer, like today if I have sales calls. Uh, but by 5 p.m., I'm usually relaxing. I'm just watching TV, playing video games, chilling out, uh, eating dinner. And by 10.30, I'm in bed and I'm, 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 a pretty good, I'm pretty good at sleeping quickly. So it doesn't take me very long to, to hit the sack and then, you know, lights out. So by 10, 10.30, 10.45, I'm already fast asleep. And that allows me to get a full eight hours of sleep, which I think is super important, and wake up at 6.30 again for the next day. So as you guys can see, there is nothing sexy or glamorous about this, this schedule here, right? This, if you're gonna model after this, especially if you are a full-time entrepreneur, I think this is a great schedule to model after. It's worked really well for me. You might change a few things around here, but just having some kind of structure and routine around your day where you know exactly what you're gonna be doing at each hour, it's gonna drastically reduce your stress levels. It's gonna drastically increase your productivity levels because you're not like a scatterbrain not knowing exactly what to do at each hour of the day. So that's it for me. Like this is the exact day structure that I follow. I've been following this for the past year and a half or so. I hope this was helpful for you guys to see in action, like visually what I'm doing. I showed you some examples as well on what I work on personally. And uh, yeah, give me a like if this was helpful for you guys. Comment below if you have any questions or concerns. And if not, I will see you in the next video.